Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In this video, let us study about the measurement of time. See anything that occurs or appears at regular intervals can help us to measure time. Now, see, we have a question that before when clocks were not, uh, you know, introduced or the uh, clocks didn't came up, how are ancestors used to decide the time? Now, they started observing the intervals that after uh, the sun rises, the sun sets and the other day, Again, sun rises. So they term it as a day. After that, they studied that uh, the full moon and no moon, and then again full moon. So they categorized it as a month. After that, they categorized a year was fixed as, as the time taken by the earth to complete one revolution of the sun. Now we know that the earth completes one rotation on the axis in almost 24 hours. So what we have divided the time is like 60 minutes, sorry 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. Your 1 uh, or your 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. 24 hours is equal to 1 day. 365 days is equal to 1 year. 10 years is equal to 1 decade. Then 10 decades is equal to 1 century. Now 10 century is equal to 1 millennium which is equal to 1000 years. I will be showing you some time measuring devices that were used in the earlier times and that are used now. This is Delhi's Janta Mantra. This was used in the ancient times by the rulers to find out the time that what is the time right now. Then the other one that was used was the water clock. This is the water clock that how this clock rotates in water tells you about the timings. Then came the sand clock. Now sand clock was basically used by the Romans worked on the principle that all the sand from the upper chamber falls into the lower chamber in a fixed amount of time. The fixed amount of time was the unit in which time was measured by them that the sand uh, falls down in the within the same time period. So the sand clock was used in order to measure the time. Then now the latest technology came with the wall clock and table clock. This wall clock has pendulum and this table clock has alarm that rings after the particular interval of time. And this is how your digital clock looks like. Now this is the most latest technology that came. It tells you about hours, minutes, seconds and even milliseconds. A unit smaller than seconds. So this is the most latest technology that is used to measure out the time. Now I hope you have understood this. This was very easy topic. If you have any doubt, any questions, do write me in the comment box. I will help you out with your doubts and do download our scholars learning app.